Well, Kate and Donna, it was a horrible welcome home for 18 year old Chris Fiden. He had a gun pointed at his face and watched his dad get shot all on his first night home from college. Literally had my keys in the door. Chris Fiden, who doesn't want to show his face on camera, was just about to walk in his front door in the 200 block of South Madeira Street Sunday night when two suspects pointed a gun at his head and demanded his backpack. Just put it right in my face about three, four inches away, just pointed it right at me. And I, it was a surreal moment where I was just trying to figure out if it was real or not. Chris says that he started kicking and yelling. He thinks his screams got his father's attention. My dad just ran outside and you know, just started yelling at him, and then as they were running away, they shot him. The bullet hit Chris's dad in the stomach, and as he was lying there in the street, police say an officer who happened to be patrolling the area took off after the robbers and caught one of them, 18-year-old Eddie Cole, who's now charged with first-degree attempted murder. They're still looking for the other suspect. We definitely need the public's help, one, at identifying the second suspect, and then two, bringing them into justice. Chris's dad didn't need surgery, and he was released from the hospital Tuesday afternoon. Chris says he's thankful and aware of just how fortunate they both are, and he's determined to not let the attack change his life. I didn't even get anything. All that trouble for nothing. The only thing I really lost was a cup of coffee that you know, got spilled all over the ground. I'm not letting this scare me out of living my life and everything. You know, just carry on as normal, just a little more precautious. Just hoping that you know, justice is served. Oh, Chris does not have a detailed description of that second suspect. He does say that he was wearing a brown jacket and khaki pants. Anyone with information about this case is urged to call Baltimore City Police. We're live at police headquarters tonight. Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News.